The Builderbase 2.0 update is nearly here and information just released that you can take advantage of. Should you continue working towards unlocking Otto, the sixth builder, that was given clarification, as well as where you should be spending your loot right now because troop levels are changing. The new blog post starts with Builder Hall layouts though because we know there is a multi-stage attacking system in the new update, which I showcased and explained in the previous video. I'll link you to that at the end, but it means if you are above Builder Hall level 5, your current layout will be completely changed. For anybody below Builder Hall 6, they are going to try and preserve your current active layout. Any of the extras will be deleted, but since the map size is shrinking, there are a couple of rules that go into this. If there are four or more buildings or traps that cannot fit into that smaller map, then the base will be just randomly positioned. You will be given a completely different layout out, which obviously you can then change once the update is released. If you are a Builder Hall level 6 or above though, you will automatically have the cave to the western side of the Builder Base, which leads to the second stage. Defenses will be randomly set across both of these stages. This means once the update is live, there are players for people to attack, but also when you log in, you have a layout. You could dive straight into it if you wish, but then you can rearrange things as you please, rather than having to set everything from the off. If you have any Builder Base decorations, these will be automatically stashed. You could place them back down afterwards, or you could try and beat my best from the Breaking Clash of Clans video. However, any uncleared obstacles will remain where they are. If the obstacles are, however, blocked by where the buildings are placed, because we do have that smaller map, then they will be randomly positioned around the base. Just in case you haven't removed your stones, remember they do not come back, you can always hold on to them. However, if you are a grass artist within the Builder Base, do know that the tall grass will be removed if it is blocking a building. Don't get me wrong, when it says randomly placing defenses, I don't think they're going to be smushed around the base. Presumably, they are automatically generating realistic layouts. Hopefully, we get base links as well, so you could just copy one of those or just tweak the random layout you have. We did know from the previous blog post there will be a set amount of buildings on one stage and and the other, so I guess we'll have to wait for clarification on that, but it means you know what's happening with your layout right now. The next change for troops is very interesting, and I have to say, one that I really like, although I wouldn't have necessarily thought of, but this is something you need to act on right now. Reading from the blog post, we want players to jump into the new multiplayer attacks as quickly as possible. We understand at higher Builder Hall levels, upgrading a newly unlocked troop from level 1 can can be a deterrent to experimenting with new tactics. In the home village, you have the town hall boost, which gives you maximum level of any new troops for a couple of days, but the levels also aren't as high. In the builder base, they're going to go up to level 20. Can you imagine at builder hall 10, having to unlock a troop and upgrade it from level one to 20? That's not going to happen. Troops will be automatically upgraded to their minimum level when they are unlocked. If you've already leveled up your troops beyond on the minimum, don't worry, we won't reset their progress. However, if you have not upgraded them to the minimum, you should just forget about them. Don't waste Elixir right now upgrading troops that will be automatically upgraded for you when the update is released. So here is a list. Obviously, Raged Barbarian and Sneaky Archer, their minimum level is 1 since you unlock them at the beginning of Builder Base. Boxer Giant and Beta Minion level 3, Bomber and Baby Dragon level 5, Cannon Cart level 7, Night Witch level 9, Dropship level 11, the Power Pekka, is that a rename for the Pekka? Presumably, level 13, and the Hog Glider level 15. Right now, on my second account, my Dropship is actually level 11, and my Hog Glider is level 15, but my Power Pekka, Super Pekka, is only level 3. So I am not spending Elixir upgrading the Power Pekka when it will be automatically upgraded to level 13 with this new update. I will use my Builder Elixir it anywhere else, even on walls, so that I'm not wasting it, and that's how you can better use your Builder Elixir right now. Speaking of which, you can vote for me right now as your mobile gaming content creator of the year at the Mobies Awards. I'll pop a link in the description, it means a lot to me. And now we move on to Otto, the sixth builder. There have been a lot of questions whether you should continue working towards unlocking this prior 
added to the update. And now we can say that yes, you should, but with some tweaks. Previously, the team said if you'd already unlocked the sixth builder, you would not have it removed, but that the tasks would be more general. When I heard that, I thought it was going to be upgrade 100 buildings in the builder base, upgrade 50 troops, but actually it's not too dissimilar to unlock Bob. Because remember, we now have Otto and Bob. You have a second builder for the builder base and a sixth builder for the home village. You don't have to transfer it between the two. Once you get to Builder Hall 6, you automatically unlock Otto, which is now going to be the second builder for the builder base. To unlock the sixth builder for the home village, that is Bob, you will do that still at Builder Hall 9 with the following tasks. Complete three gear up upgrades. That's what you had to do previously. Upgrade any troop to level 18. This is rather than cannon cart specifically. Any defense to level 9, so it doesn't have to be the Mega Tesla. And total upgrade level of all heroes must be 45. Just note that the new hero machine starts at level 15 when you purchase it from the shop. So a new hero machine. I can't wait to show you those when we get to sneak peeks, so be sure to subscribe in order to see those. But my advice for you is that if you you were progressing towards let's say upgrading the cannon cart or the mega tesla but you have another troop that is a higher level just switch and start upgrading that troop instead because when the upgrade is released you will then be one step closer to unlocking bob the sixth builder let me know what you think of this and if you want to see the explanation and gameplay of the multi-stage attacking in the new builder base i have that video linked on your screen enjoy the rest of your day